So yesterday, the co-founder and CEO of Tinder gave an interview in which he said, I've been attracted to women who are, well, who my friends might think are ugly. I don't care if someone is a model, really, it sounds cliched and almost totally unbelievable for a guy to say this, but it's true, I need an intellectual challenge. He goes on, apparently there's a term for someone who gets turned on by intellectual stuff. You know, just talking. What's the word? I want to say sodomy, at which point his publicist who was with him in the interview said, and I'm not making this up, that's it, we're fired. And he said, what, why? And then apparently realizing his mistake, he said, no, not that, that's definitely not me. Okay, so let's give him the benefit of the doubt and assume they didn't actually mean to use the word sodomy. Even so, these comments are amazing on so many levels. So if you're a person who's turned on by intellectual conversation, and there is a recently developed word for that, the word is sapiosexual. Why do you have friends in the first place who would say that the person you're dating is ugly? Those just don't sound like the kind of friends who would be down to conversate intellectually with you. To be clear, I'm not judging you if you're on Tinder. Literally every single person I know is on it and people I know who are in happy, healthy relationships met each other on it. But wouldn't Tinder be literally the worst possible dating app for determining whether a person is potentially an intellectually stimulating conversationalist? The whole premise of Tinder is literally categorizing people based on your first impression of their appearance. All you get is like a headshot, maybe a photo of them with friends to show how social they are, and a photo of them hiking in the mountains to show how well balanced their lifestyle is, and like one sentence that they wrote about themselves. How could that possibly tell you if a person is an intellectual conversationalist? Like the only possible way to meet people on Tinder who are intellectual but you are not attracted to would be to swipe right on literally every person you find unattractive in the hopes that you match with them and they send you a message that turns out to be highly intelligent. Which obviously makes no sense and leads us to our final problem. Now that he's given this interview, won't any girl he dates Google him, find this interview and be like, wait, you think I'm ugly but I might be intellectually stimulating in conversation? Now my point in making this vlog is not to just like vilify this dude because obviously we've all chosen the wrong word at one point or another. My point is that I've met a lot of my YouTube subscribers in real life and you guys are incredibly intelligent. And with that intelligence I hope comes enough self-respect that regardless of your success or failure in relationships if you ever come across someone who makes demeaning comments like this that you will left swipe them. A-M-P-U-T-E-E -E.